Hey guys, I just wanted to share something I learned in Adobe Premiere and it kind of blew my mind because I've been working with Adobe Premiere for a number of years now and this is a game changer for me and it's user defined presets. And this is really neat because uh, a lot of times what I want to do is I want to scale an image, a still or a video clip that's static about 10% over the length of the clip. So let's take a look. So we got these guys here and uh, you know, they're long lost friends. Oh, look at that. There's like brotherly love. They're shaking their hands. Yeah, man, that's it's beautiful. So but like maybe I want to make this a little bit more intense or it's at the beginning of the scene. I want to push in slowly because, you know, so what, what I would do is I would uh, normally I would just scale right here. And so that's 100 percent. And then we move over here a little bit and we change that to 110 percent and bang. It's just a little subtle. Nothing to worry about. I won't have to change the position. And it's just like there we go. So it's like let's watch that again. See? Awesome. See, just a little bit. I don't even have to worry about their heads getting cut off. But yeah, so that's really cool, and I like that. So what we want to do is, if I want to do that like a hundred times, we're going to be doing that a ton in a project. I can make it a preset. So let's call that scale from 100 to 110. Now this is a little bit tricky here. This this scale is different than the scale we were just talking about. This scale means that it will scale the effect, whatever those keyframes are, with the clip. So I just made it on a five second clip where we slowly push in 10% over five seconds. But if I put it on a 30 second clip with the scale selection, that means that it will scale in th over 30 seconds from 100% to 110%. So that's really cool. So that right there, now I can use that on any clip, but there is a little bit of a caveat here now. And that is, is that this is an HD clip in an HD timeline. But over here, this is a 4K clip in an HD timeline that I've clicked scale to frame size. And if we drop this preset on here, it's all wonky. See, it, it's, this isn't working. So what I want to do is I want to undo that control Z and then I want to undo scale to frame size. So this is it. This is, they're like way too big. So we want to scale it down. We like go all the way here and maybe like push it down here. So it's framed properly there. That's a, that's a nice shot. I'm digging that. Now you could do two things either. If you're going to be working on a project and you're going to be doing a ton of this, you make a couple at the beginning. So I could do it where we scale from 50 to 60 and maybe throw in a position change. That's a bit of a bigger change. So let's just push it down a little so we don't give anybody a haircut. And we stretch those out. And that's a good one. See? And we could do that. And any other clip coming in from my Black Magic Pocket 4K edited in this timeline that's HD, it'll do the same. So let's make that a preset. Save preset. So that's scaling from 50 to 60. Um, we'll just say 4K clip. Maybe that'll make sense. But the final thing I can do is... Uh, Let's just reset all that. So we'll uh, remove all its attributes. Bang. So we're back to that. So let's go to 50. Let's reposition it. So that's nice. It's looking good, guys. All right. The other thing we can do is that we can nest it. We'll just call this Elf and Cleric Mid. So bang, now this clip is 100% and our 100 to 110% thing will work. So those are two ways to use user-defined presets in Adobe Premiere. And I'd love to hear your ideas for this because I'm sure that we can do a lot more interesting things. Anything involving keyframes, it doesn't just have to involve motion, it could involve volume, it can involve other effects that as long as there's a keyframe happening in there, we can, we can do that. So I'd love to hear your suggestions in the comments on how you can make this better.